Hello everybody. Guess what I've got behind me? 05 plate Mark III Mondeo, 2 litre Duratec. It's come on the back of an RAC truck. It runs, it starts, but it only ticks over. If you touch the throttle, it just cuts out. So uh, come and have a look at this problem. I connected our Snap-on Solus Ultra up to this car, to the diagnostic port. And there was only one code in the engine ECU, which related to the throttle position sensor, which is just here on your throttle housing. So I replaced the little sensor there and checked the wiring, they looked okay, but that made no difference. <laughs> so I'm guessing that was kind of like an old code that was in there anyway. Let me show you what this car's doing. Ignition lights all work. See it runs. If I touch the throttle, it's actually revving now a bit. It wasn't even revving before. But uh, the, the warmer it gets, the more you can't rev it. It kind of like, it, it, it smells, it smells really terrible. But I'm flat out. I'm flat out on the floor. Oh, that's just cut out. That's literally cut out now. I think when it's cold, it will start and rev a little bit. As soon as it warms up a touch, it dies. But here's what I heard. Underneath, I could hear like a rattling from the exhaust. Let me switch it off. I'm going to put the car up in the air because there were no other codes in the ECU. The coolant was okay, the engine oil was okay, everything looks okay. I checked around the top of the engine, can't see nothing out of place. The simple fact that I heard a rattle on the exhaust is suspect. Oh look, it's got a brand new downpipe on it. This hasn't been long fitted. And I don't know who put it on, but let's see. This is the catalytic converter. Aha. There you go. It's all broken inside here, and I'm getting a feeling that's happened when this was fitted. And judging by the bolts that are holding it in. <laughs> yeah, the rattling seems to be definitely coming from this cat. Ding dong. So, I shall take this catalytic converter off at the front to start with, and let's have a look. Okay. There goes the nut. <laughs> right, let's push this cat off the downpipe and see what we got. <laughs> oh my God, can you see this shit? The actual catalytic converter has completely broke up inside. And I pres I'm presuming it's completely blocked down the back end and stopping the actual gases from getting through the exhaust whatsoever, hardly at all. So there you go, there's the problem. I'll unbolt the back end of the cat now and get the Lambus sensor disconnected and have a look at the back section. <laughs> the last nut coming off. <coughs> I managed to snap the other one, but it doesn't matter because it was part of the it was part of the cat side, so I'll just put nuts and bolts in it. Right. Come on. 
<laughs> you need to separate now exhaust. It's got a little bit of a gap. Oh, flipping neck that was tight. Oh, oh look. All the all the precious metals are <laughs> all the precious metals are coming out. Yeah. No, it actually looks okay at the back end. From what I can see down that pipe, it looks quite respectable. It's all in one piece. But our problem is obviously up the front end. <laughs> Gee, that is well bloody uh, mashed up in there. Right, what I'll do, I'll just pop it upside down and try and knock a few bits of this out, see how much is actually, because look at all this powder that's come out, flipping loads of it. There we go, look at that. There's a turd, look at that. <laughs> Any more? <laughs> that seems to be about it. Oh yeah. That is absolutely frigging mullered inside there. Broken to pieces. So there you go. That's how easy your exhaust can get blocked up. And you see in this case, it actually stopped the car from even revving up and it just, you know, if you left it ticking over it would cut out. So, <laughs> I just wanted to have a little prod. Yeah, the rest of it's all buggered up, but it's like, there seems to be like a solid bit at the back. So be it, that all being broken up has obviously completely blocked the gases from getting through the catalytic converter into the back part of the exhaust. Uh, you know, it's been, it's been quite a long time since I've had a blocked exhaust. And I actually had to think about this one a little bit because I was kind of scratching my head thinking, why the hell won't this car won't rev up? And then, it, then I heard the rattling on the exhaust and then it kind of dawned on me. <laughs> right, well, that's it. I better get on the blower and order a new catlin. <laughs> there we go. Look at all that dust. You see all, all the little glittery bits in there? You see the scrap man will want all that, so I'm going to have to sweep it up and put it back in here. So when he comes, because like the scrap man pays good money for these. Uh, sayonara. Just to end the video, I'll start the car up just to show that it revs now. I, I, I shan't get a new catalytic converter to the morning, but I shan't bother showing you me fitting that because there's no point. It's just to actually show that how an exhaust can get blocked up and stop the engine from running. So anyway, I'll get it started. Runs a bloody treat. <laughs> right, so I'll pop a new exhaust on it tomorrow and that'll be job done. Till the next time, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Adios. <laughs>